What's going on, people? What's going on? I'll tell you what the hell is going on. A whole bunch. Uh, okay. Get that. How I look, I don't fucking know. Uh, damn, I don't even know what video this is supposed to be, but let's, okay, I, I got it. We gonna talk Justice League, that final little trailer they gave, and we gonna talk Deathstroke, the movie. First of all, I'm, I'm gonna dive into the Justice League trailer first. It's, it's not, I think it's just like, it's a trailer? It's really a trailer because they it, it released, I think it was like the UK and China, that's the one they got. Apparently, they want to give them stepping more stepping wolf than they've been giving us. And he has really one line. Look at the guy like, I have a family. Why does everyone keep telling me? It, 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 I, I'm, listen, I'm fucking excited for this movie, okay? I am excited. I'm ecstatic. I'm ready to see this shit. I got my ticket already. I'm seeing it. Thursday, 9-15. I should have got one earlier because there was other ones showing earlier, like six or seven. But I know me. I like going at like nine. I don't know why. I don't. I, I don't know why. I'm, I'm excited to see. We we got to see a couple more scenes. I, I've been seeing a lot of uh, the little promo stuff they've been giving for each character. Uh, Cyborg, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Batman. Of course, we're not gonna get a Superman. You know, Wonder Woman, all of this stuff. You know, Batman making a cool landing. All this shit got me excited. The Flash. Whooping a whole bunch of parademons ass, flash tripping, running to like brick. I saw that though in the trailer. Flash trips. Like he's so fast, he just ain't got used to his stuff yet. He trips and shit. I don't give a damn. I, I know there's that scene is gonna be dope. But there's gonna be an actual scene, I think, in this movie where the flash is actually throwing punches and kicks and shit. And I'm gonna lose my fucking mind, okay? I, I'm already, I already know my boy Batman don't throw them hands off dump. I know Wonder Woman gonna throw them hands off dump. I know Aquaman really gonna go to work with this trite. If he had a spin move with the trite and get somebody behind him, I, I'm gonna fucking lose it. Probably gonna lose it. I just need Cyborg to blast a couple. Boom, boom. As you guys can see, I'm excited about this movie. Also, you know what I'm really, oh my God, the stuff, we we got Zeus versus Steppenwolf? Like, you got to call a guard to fight this? Oh my, and he is bringing, he is the, listen, if some, Steppenwolf should have played for the monster because the way he's slamming that hammer, he ducked like he a monster. He ducked like he was on Space Jam, okay? That he be bringing the force with that motherfucking hammer, and he gonna be going to work on some Justice League members' candy ass. Even you, super, even Superman. Oh, the Superman fan. Oh, Superman gonna come back. With I hope he whoops Superman ass too. I would. I, I just want him, Stephen Wolf, to get some dubs. Okay. I want him to whoop their ass. They have to retreat, and then go get Superman. Come back, and then still barely win. They don't have to kill him. They can send his ass back up to the dark side, and dark side gonna look at him like my weak ass uncle. Or I don't know if they got him looking at. He's the uncle or the nephew in this. Uh, I forgot how they said they playing, but he can just look at him like your weak ass. I handle it myself, and, 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 and we just see his cool ass. Y'all, y'all know how dark side fly. This motherfucker fly stiff as hell, but it's the coolest shit ever. Like uh, you don't, you ain't never seen nobody. I'm excited for this shit. I got Thor Ragnarok next week. I know y'all probably don't want to hear about that in this review, but I don't give a damn. I love Marvel and DC. You can kiss my ass. I'm ready to see that next week. But since I'm a more, uh, I grew up more on DC, the Justice League, bro? Man, shit, I'm ready to see that. But Thor Ragnarok is my most anticipated Marvel film, and I do think it's going to be the best Marvel film of this year. I said that in multiple reviews. Even that statement go back to last year when I heard about it because I knew they was going to get it right this time. But Justice League, I am, I'm excited. I heard they're not lifting the embargo uh, for most people who are like me, you didn't realize, really realize what embargo was until you start watching YouTube reviews about a couple of years ago. And now you, I understand, but, I, and, and I know like they're releasing a day before, it's kind of like, eh, I don't give a shit. 
I don't give a shit if motherfuckers came out tomorrow and said it's a, 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 a hundred reviews and this motherfucker zero on Rotten Tomato. You know who still got their ticket? You know who still gonna be in the movie theater at 9 o'clock and the movie don't start till 9.15? I'm gonna be in there with a big bucket of popcorn. Probably me and my partner, me and Gazelle are probably gonna be in there. We're gonna have to get two buckets of popcorn because I'm pretty sure now one of us gonna wanna get up during the damn movie and go get a refill, okay? Just, just leave this coming, people. Get your shit together. Get, 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 get ready to unite the six. If they fuck around and unite the seven, this damn move, I'm gonna lose my damn mind. But unite the six, okay? Get ready. Also, also, uh, uh. Uh, oh my god, my bad. Oh, um, uh, the runtime. The runtime for this movie, I think, is like 121 minutes. If, you, if anybody knows, math. It's like two hours and one minute, okay? Batman v Superman was like two hours and like two and a half hours. This is the shortest film in the DCEU. Well, DC, well, out of DC films that came in that little cinematic thing, okay? No, I'm not worried. Am I disappointed? Possibly, because I probably want to see more, okay? I Am I worried about them being able to tell the story in two hours? No, that's not what I'm worried about. It's that I know. After I get through watching this movie, I'll be like, I wanted more. 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 Okay, but it's all good. It's all good. Let's jump over to this death stroke. Uh... It, it reports that uh, I can't think of the guy's name, but he did the raid in the raid too. Uh, I haven't seen those movies. We'll watch them just because I will do that sometime this week. It's gonna be a busy, it's gonna be pretty busy for me the next couple of days uh, watching stuff and going places. So, but uh, reporter, we get the Deathstroke movie. Uh, Joe Ma Maga Maga Maganello. I don't know how exactly to pronounce his last name, but Joe Maganello. I think that's his name. But we saw him, the little test footage they did with him in the Deathstroke shoot. Fucking looked amazing, okay, people? Let's just not act like that. It wasn't some of the coolest shit. When Ben Affleck dropped that picture, everybody went fucking crazy. I don't give a damn who you was. You can say, what the f Listen, I, you can't. You can't hate on that. How can you hate? Hey, you can't hate on that picture. It was just a fucking picture. He looked cool and fucking swole. It looked like he read the little Batman ass. Can you give us a Deathstroke move? Listen. We don't think people understand. You can get, you can do a death show movie easily. Know why? Know why? Because he's a fucking mercenary that takes place in the DC universe. Do you? There is endless possibilities to this shit. They can just be. And also, you forgot about people tend to forget about the fact that Deathstroke also has kids. You can play them. They can play a part in this shit. It, it can be going to do some shit for them. This, listen, far as I'm concerned, far as I'm concerned, you can have Deadshot get paid to assassinate Deathstroke. Did you got Will Smith? Did, did you? Did, did, what the, oh my God! I, I now when I initially pressed start. And said, welcome, you guys. I wasn't, I never had that thought in my head. It just popped up right now. Because you already saying, oh, we're going to do a, we're going to do a, 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 a dead shot movie. Fuck it, throw him in there. It doesn't matter. Because I'm pretty sure, if I'm being honest, I don't think the dead shot movie is going to come before the death stroke movie. Just, and you can promote it with dead shot. That's just a, listen, there's endless possibilities to this thing, okay? Endless. If he's just sim simply assassinating people, I'm cool with that. I'm excited for this shit. Also, but listen, I will say this. DC be just, they be shooting some goddamn movies. Oh, forgive me. I mean, say that. They be shooting some damn movies out there. We got Batgirl, Nightwing, this Origin Joker thing, which I'm honestly not that excited for because it's like, when you have the Joker, I feel like you just got to have Batman now. That's just me. 
But if you know what? If they drop it, you know who gonna be ass in the theater 15 minutes before it start with two buckets of popcorn and a big pop, not a drink, a pop, like my grandpa used to say. Diesel. But like I said, uh I, I'm in, oh, they have uh you got Man of Steel too, you got Wonder Woman coming. Uh we already know Shazam get ready to go into production pretty soon. Uh uh um you got Suicide Squad too, like I think the Joker and Harley Quinn movie. Like, I don't know if Gotham City of Sirens. It's just like, bruh, just, 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 if you're going to do this shit, just line it up. Just go throw them all into production. Y'all don't give a damn if you got 20 movies in production at one time. As long as they start coming out, I'm good. Honestly. And uh, that's, the, that's the end of those two, two newest things. You know what I want to see? Bear with me, people. Bear with me. I want to see... <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. I want to see... Uh, uh, why in the, I, I want to see a Red Hood movie. And hear me out. If you do a Red Hood movie, you can do so many things with that character. Think about this. If anybody, I read, I'm, I'm, I, I read the, uh, the the Red Hood comic and I watched the movie, and I, I'm reading like Red Hood and the Outlaws, so I, I really like Red Hood. And he's a character like, like Jason. That character, it's like he's not a Deadpool type character, but he's kind of Deadpool esque. You know, he he can whoop your ass while joking around with you. Now here's here's where I'm, here's where I'm at with the people. You can introduce your Nightwing because you think about it. Not in 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 that in that story, Batman is with Nightwing, and in the beginning of the uh, beginning of that story, and they're fighting uh, 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 Amazo. Uh, so you had you can introduce your Nightwing that to the, that they got that you got coming to the DC universe, and you have a flashback story. You have a flashback story of when Robin got killed. So we and we know he's dead in BVS. You can introduce that 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 component of how he died, the whole backstory with the Joker. You have him, the Joker. You can have Jerry. You can have Jerry. I don't have a big problem with that. I just don't feel like the guy got enough time in uh, BVS. If I'm, I mean, uh, Suicide Squad. If I'm being honest. So you have Harley Quinn. You have those two elements. And you have the main antagonist, which is it's not going to end in like some big trash pile uh, sequence at the end of the movie because your your main villain is Black Mask, Black Skull, Black Black Skull. What the fuck am I getting Black Mask from? You have that at the end. So with with that, you just have like a gangster running Gotham, and there are so many other like sub things you can put in. You can just nitpick. From which ones you really want. And you have a whole mystery story and why where Batman has to find out. And you have like the detective thing, because he's trying to find out who the fuck is this new dude in Gotham running around killing people, chopping people's heads off, putting them in bags, running around telling gangsters, hey, you owe me money and you work for me now. And you need one protection, you have to get it through me. It's so like the, the Red Hill story to me is like one of the best things ever. I really, I really, really like it. And if I want to watch The Stranger Things right now, I'll probably go back and watch it again. Just because every time I talk about the movie, I end up just going, just watching it. I just think they can do Red Hood real good. You have, and you can do like the whole uh, Chris Evans thing, where they how they did him in uh, Captain America: uh, the, the First Avenger, uh, where he was real, real small, and that's how you can have Jason Todd when he's robbing. Because we know when he when he, when he became the Red Hood, he was older and he was a lot more muscular. He's probably pretty much the same size as Batman. And that's pretty much the whole thing. Uh, the same thing. You, you have the same character play both. You don't need to switch them up. You just use that. And you have the scene where the Joker beating his ass, killed him. The Batman come to save him. He was already dead. It's so much, dog. And I just feel like that. I, that's just something I want to throw at the end of this. You know, uh, it might not never happen. Uh, fuck it. Uh, if I get to Hollywood and I'm able to make movies, I'll make the shit myself. So what? So, uh, <laughs> you guys... Thank you guys for watching it and uh, sticking through this with me. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel. We talk movies over here. And we talk a lot of other stuff uh, when we have time. So, 
and catch up with you guys later. Unite the seven.